now we finished the station. Uh, I, I want to clean the arm. So let me show you what I will do. First, I'm going to take these bags, right? And uh, I want to close them. So there's no possibility of leakage. Make sure this is closed. This is closed. And this is closed. Now, I bring this to the sink. I bring the whole part to the sink. Because I don't want to have nothing, right, leaking. And then what I do is I take this arm and I put it in the sink. And if you had any blood on it, right, you could take a sponge, wet it, right, and clean it. So now my arm is clean. I bring both of these tubes close to the sink. And then what I'm going to do is, as this is closed and this is closed, right, I'm going to go ahead and open. So this is uh, some of the blood, the fake blood that was inside the tubing. But this blood that's in here, I want to reuse. So what I want to do is I want to take my container. Put both of them in here. And I want to open my clamps. So, so this... Right, blood that I created. When I run the station again, right, let's say next week, I could easily just use this because all of this, right, will give me the color that I want, the consistency that I want. I already diluted it. There's no reason to pour this down the drain. Look at the color. You see? The color is almost identical to this color. And then I'll show you how we're going to go ahead and flush it. So I want to get all of it, right? All of it is here. Close my clamps. Get some tissue. All right, so this is going to be my reusable container. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to reconnect both of these to my arm. The reason why is that now I got to flush it. I got to flush the system. As I said, I don't want to know the position of anything, right, that will congeal or essentially clot. So I connect them. And what, what you want to actually run, you want to run, the, you want to run a warm water. Right, you want to run, run warm water. So I'll take these bags, take this bag here, right, put it down into the sink, open this up and run. Once, once I fill this up with some warm water, I'm going to lift it up and I want to make sure now this water, right, runs through the system. And uh, once it runs through the system, you will see it start to fill up in my other bag, right? So you see how it's filling up. And you see all of this that's coming out, right? This is essentially everything that was in the line. And if we leave this in the mannequin and the test trainer, what's going to happen is it will congeal, it will become hard, and uh, then you will have kinks, right? You will have obstruction, you're not going to get any flow. So I'll raise this higher. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run this ideally uh, until uh, uh, this is clear, right? Uh, would, I, would you reuse this, right? Uh, so I, you can reuse it, right, uh, if the color is dark, uh, if it's very light in, in color, I would then then you would 
put this under the sink. But this certainly that I drained from both of the bags, I'm going to reuse. Right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this bag. So if I wanted to take it, I'll put it in my bottle. Right? So I'm going to run it until until this is clear. And you could lift it up to assist with gravity. So So you see now it's coming out, it looks clear to me. And I check my tubing, right? The tubing looks clear. And you want to run it with warm water. Right, so you see it's coming out. So at this point, right, uh, I will let this run, put this here for a second. And I'm going to disconnect my, my bag here, let it just run through the tubing. I'm going to wash it. So remove the tubing. See, it's coming out clear, right? I'm going to let, let this entire bag infuse through, right, through all the tubing. And what I want you to do is basically clean this with warm water. Right, and run. So once once you clean it, you could use a sponge, right? If there's any remaining uh, blood, right? Once I clean it, this is another important thing. You want to hang them. Do not cl uh, close any uh, clamps, right? You want to hang them. I'm going to sh uh, show you, right, we have a stock room, right, uh, with, where you're going to actually hang it. And another important thing, you see these clamps, you want to make sure they're open, so A, they don't cause any kinks, because if you leave it like this, right, if you leave it like this to dry, uh, it will certainly, um, right, uh, make, uh, leave this consistent kink in the tubing. So let, let it open, right, you could rotate where you uh, close the, these clamps. Right, let it dry. Uh, my my bag infused fully, so I want to clean it too. Right, take this, bring it over. And then I disconnect here. And let it drain out. So this is done, right? So I'm gonna hang it. I'm gonna hang this now. What you're gonna do with this arm? So if there was any 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 blood, I will. Uh, you can use the sponge to further clean it. I take some tissues or paper towels. I'm going to put this upside down to facilitate all the drainage. And then I want to clean the arm. Okay. If there's anything re remaining, you want to make sure it drains out. So this, this arm is going to go into the container, right? And you notice I have placed some uh, towels in here to absorb moisture, right? And when you place this arm in here, right, you want to make sure there's some paper towels, right? So 
uh, this doesn't leak all over. I wouldn't, I wouldn't start tying any knots because if you start doing any of this, right, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm gonna compromise this tubing. So I don't want to put any knots here. I know I flushed it. Uh, it's clean. I put paper towels to absorb it, right? Uh, if you have any remainder of the blood, just use, right, the sponge to clean it and use some paper towels to absorb all the moisture, right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to let it air dry, right? Uh, once it's air dry, you're going to go ahead and put it back uh, into the storage, right? These bags are going to be hanging on a storage rack, right? We clean them, make sure these clamps are open, right? So that kinks like this do not form, right? Move them around uh, for that reason. And so uh, now what, what I got, I got, I saved my blood so I can reuse it later. This is the new blood that we made. So this will last, last us a good portion of the class. I, I label this, you could label this too, right? So from 9-19-21, so that we know when it's from. When this starts to become uh, uh, super light, what you can do is you could add a more concentrated uh, solution in here, right? But don't routinely dump uh, the entire contents of your bags. You're costing a lot of money uh, to go down the drain, right? Um, so, uh, and some tips, right? What happens if you connect it and, um, you know, even though you pressurize the, right, you you close the bottom, it's not running. So what can happen is uh, if you did not, uh, or someone else did not clean this properly, you may have build up, right, sediments here. So what you want to do is connect both of these bags and run, run warm water for several minutes. So I would just run water uh, uh, through the arm uh, to clean any sediments. Once that's done, uh, you're good to go, right? Uh, so after, after this, right, you will basically put all your equipment away Right, make sure you trash uh, uh, everything that needs to be trashed. The sharps containers, right? Make sure you only put sharps in here. Do not put any garbage uh, into your container.